It isn't my era, but the Nintendo 64 is a fun system with a wonky controller that helps bring us 3D games, Smash Bros, and even web browsers today. But in this video, I want to talk about an obscure piece of N64 hardware that not many people have ever owned. The Nintendo 64 DD. What is it? Why don't we know about it today, and what happened to this thing? Let's find out. It Today, Nintendo seems to be swapping between using discs and cartridges on their consoles. Discs are typically used in home consoles, while cartridges are used in handhelds. But many years ago, cartridges were used for everything. And when 3D games made their way to the market, Nintendo had to decide on what to use in the next big console. Discs or cartridges, each one had their own advantage. Discs were more powerful overall, being able to hold a lot more data than cartridges, However, they were also slower and required longer loading screens. Personally speaking, I would have gone with the discs, as they are cheaper and hold more data. Kinda seems like a win-win situation. Not only that, but the Nintendo 64 cartridges held at most 16 megabytes of data, whereas the PlayStation discs could only hold about 700 megabytes of data. But I'm not one to question Nintendo's decisions. I guess Nintendo wanted to perform better and decide that cartridges were the way to go. Unfortunately, as time went on, this proved to be the wrong decision as the CD-based Sony PlayStation was dominating the console market. Their solution? A CD add-on for the Nintendo 64. This became known as the Nintendo 64 DD, or Nintendo 64 Disk Drive. The cartridges now held 64 megabytes of data. Now that's, uh, actually pretty funny. But more than that, the DD was capable of storing files and downloading new game data. The DD attached to the bottom of the console, and it actually seemed like a really cool piece of technology. What on earth happened to this thing? In short, it all has to do with timing. Many games that were playing for the DD were being released on the regular N64, and fans wondered when on earth was it going to be released? The answer was December 1st, 1999. Unfortunately, the DD wasn't released until the next generation of consoles was already underway. It was released in Japan only, but there exists a super rare American prototype version that's nearly impossible to get your hands on. As a quick side note, this isn't the only disc-based add-on Nintendo released. The Famicom has its own disc-based attachment in the form of the Famicom Disk System. I'm gonna leave this bad boy out of today's topic, but back to the DD. So, what'd you get? Some amazing items, actually! If you purchased the 64DD RedNet bundle, you would get the N64 keyboard, N64 mouse, and the capture cassette, an audio-video capture port. All in all, the DD would go on to sell over 15,000 units, and was officially discontinued on February 28, 2001. That's right, 19 years ago today, the DD discontinued. It's very interesting to go back in time and relive the short hype of the Nintendo 64DD. But guess what? We still have another part coming out. Join me next week as we take a look at some games that were brought to the DD successfully, as well as those which were either delayed or cancelled. Tonda Gasa!